G'day legends, g'day superstars, Pepsi here, bringing you a massive two semi-finals of AFL finals action for the 2024 final series. And it's all kicking off tomorrow night, Port Adelaide versus Hawthorne, 7.40pm at the Adelaide Oval. And if you remember, last time these two teams played each other, Port won in a thriller, kicking two goals in 30 seconds, and ain't going to be happening this time round. Last week... Port Adelaide were poor across the oval. 67% disposal efficiency when they've been averaging 72% for the year. And inside 50s, they only averaged 37 when they've been averaging. Georgiades was good, but Dixon, Radagalia, last week, Port were poor across the ground. 67% disposal efficiency when they've been averaging 72 for the year. And inside 50s, when they've been averaging 51% efficiency, they only went at 37%. Georgiades was, Georgiades was pretty good. Dixon, Radigalier, and Rowley all need to lift. The mids were poor. Rosie Wines, Boak, Butters, you got to be better. And the lack of defence in the back half. No Farrell, no Houston. And now Burton, this will again hurt the power. Alira Lear can't do it all by himself. Someone has to lift. And you couldn't ask for a worse opponent to be against because the Hawks were awesome against the Dogs last week. 59 inside 50s, 9 over their average. Their disposal efficiency was at 76%. They won the stoppages. They did lose the clearances. 16 to 7 to Marks inside 50. Super deadly. When you got more Ginevan, Deer, Watson, Gunston, they're going to be way too strong for Port. And when you got Newcomb, Warple, D'Ambrosio, Ward, and don't forget Weddle, Sicily, the list goes on and on. This is going to be a massacre. Port are going to be going out in straight sets. Sam Stowe's a style. And just like last week, the Quarks will be taking this one in over 39 points in this margin, heading into a prelim a week later. All right, GWS versus Brisbane, 7.30 p.m. at NG Stadium. GWS lost in a nail biter, got over to a five-goal lead and then happened to screw it up. But they're back on their home deck and they will be hard to stop. But it isn't going to be impossible for the Lions. The Giants are fifth for first quarters one, yet lie 12th for final quarters. So the challenge for Brisbane is that they are 13th for final quarters one. But if Brisbane can keep with them and they're at the final change, they are a chance, yet a small one. Brisbane need to fire early on. Brisbane need to fire on the scoreboard early if they want to win this one because a massive red flag for them is halftime deficits. When the Lions are down at halftime, they only win 35% of their games in 2024, where GWS are 50, which is a worrying sign for the Lions. Besides that, they are evenly matched. The Lions lead the inside 50 count with the GWS lead rebound 50s and the tackles. When you've got two midfields going against each other, Neil, Dunkley, Ashcroft, McCluggage, Big Oscar versus Green, Canelio, Whitfield, Kelly and Kieran Briggs, it is the number one kicking team versus the number one tackling team. We have a ripper on our hands, but it just doesn't stop there. We've also got two cracking forward lines pitting themselves against each other. Hogan Green and Daniels versus Danaher, Hipwood and Cameron. The back lines are jacked when you've got Sam Taylor versus Harris Andrews. I can't wait for this one. But when it all comes down to the crunch, I've got to go with the home team. If the Giants can get in front and be in front by halftime, history states that the Lions struggle to claw back after that halftime margin. And when they get that breathing space, I'm going to go with the GWS to take this one out by no more than 25 points. So there you go. Tip Doubt's semi-final previews for two massive games. And if you haven't done so before already, make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can be part of the Lace Out family week in, week out, getting our videos and getting our live show. I'll be back next week with my tips for two cracking prelim finals. If your team's playing, I hope they win. If they're not, enjoy footy because this is the best time of year and I can't wait.